What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix our network adapts on our Windows operating system. Now sometimes post malware removal techniques are always have to uh, be used to fix a lot of issues with your computer. Now malware, once you've removed malware from a system, it sometimes leaves damage behind, okay, with services and also uh, network you may not be able to get on the internet you may still have problems of getting on the internet and you may have cleaned all your PC up and this is pretty common now some tools do clean that up and make it work again but sometimes you could be left um, with problems of trying to get on the internet and this is where this video is going to come into use for you so you can see this program we're talking about is called network adapter repair all-in-one okay now this is a great tool for doing those little repairs that you've got or even troubleshooting uh, network issues so it might not be nothing to do with malware you might be trying to be a gamer online play games online and you're getting slow internet and stuff like that you may want to troubleshoot it by using this program and it's very useful for that type of stuff as well so let's fire it up and have a look I'm going to run this as administrator now once you've got this open you're going to get all your information your current network information here listed here okay and you can change your network adapter to whatever you want to change it to okay if you've got more than one network adapter on there you can spoof your mac address if you wanted to now this is your uh, mac address id for that card itself okay and this is set in stone you can't normally uh, change this on the card it is actually what it is but spoofing it means you can trick it by making one or two changes to certain digits and you are, you are now spoofing that address okay that mac address now also you've got your um, ip up here you can ping your ip from here and you can also ping your dns just to test to see if there's problems now you may have nothing to do with malware whatsoever and you may want to troubleshoot your network and this is what you can do you can also send this information back to um, your ISP because you may be trying to distinguish whether it's an IP related problem uh, for your ISP problem or whether it's on your computer which is causing a problem so you can quickly um, find this all out now there's also on the left hand side here a load of buttons which you can click on this is going to be useful if you've had malware or if you've got problems and you're trying to troubleshoot now this one the advanced repair is a really good tool because this is going to um, you know try to repair the windsock the tcp ip uh, repair and also clear all the proxies and the vpn settings now normally malware does all this sort of tactics and it really messes up your uh, connection now you can also go into your browser and remove proxy settings but sometimes that just isn't good enough and this normally gets it and repairs it okay so this is a really good way of uh, solving a lot of those issues also you can see here there's a, a Windows firewall repair as well now you will have to reboot the system when you follow, when you click on the OK and follow that through okay so down on the left hand side here we've got additional tools also that we can use we can put ticks in what we want to run and run all selected it's very simple now also we'll just run through some of these tools what they've got and some of the useful features like your clear host file now sometimes when you want to clear your host file the malware may have changed that or you may be having issues with it and uh, you can see here you've got um, this is your host file you can view it here now when you change this uh, host file you can clear it back to the default settings it makes it uh, back to a default uh, standard host file you can also renew and release your DHCP address you can also clear the static IP settings enable DHCP now this is in case you've uh, had a static IP uh, enabled and now you want to go back to DHCP maybe malware's changed it maybe you've changed it yourself who knows but you've got here change your Google DNS as well now sometimes your ISP is having trouble with uh, I know Virgin Media do sometimes where you might have trouble with uh, your DNS server and uh, straight away if that is the case it might only be temporary but you can come in here and you won't have to lose any internet activity and you can change your DNS to anything you like um, so you don't have to stay with your ISPs one you can come in here and just change it by putting a tick in you can also flush your DNS cache uh, clear the ARP and uh, you can also look at your internet options here to clear the SSL state this is another thing you can do 
Now, it may be a case that uh, reset all your internet options and your security and privacy. Maybe you've made a change in there and now your internet's not working right. Or maybe malware's made some changes in there. And this is just going to reset that at a click of a button. Very quick and easy. So as you can see here, this is all some of the uh, features you've got here. And uh, it's going to be a, a really great tool if you've got malware on the system, post malware removal. Uh, it'd be great for that type of thing. Or maybe you're trying to troubleshoot some networking issues. Give it a try. It's called Network Adapter Repair All-in-One. It's an awesome little tool and uh, I'll give it a good thumbs up. So thanks again for watching guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos then hit the like button guys. It really does help. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching guys. If you've got any problems or anything like that then head over to the forums and post on there. Please don't private message me and ask me to help you through private message. Post them on the forums. That is the best way to go about doing it, okay? And that gives everyone a chance to help out as well. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks again. Bye for now.